This is the time to go fast. Of course. What the heck? We good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. How should I start okay. this? Probably should have thought of an introduction. Actually, yeah. Pause. You want me out of the shot? No, you can be in a cutting bay in the background. Okay. That'll make it look more realistic. Because it is. <laughs> I mean, real. So we're out at the Isla Mirada Humps, right out of the Keys. If you didn't know, they're right off Isla Mirada. But we came from Key Largo. It's like an extra 10 minute boat ride. But today we're doing something everybody's been waiting for. Deep dropping. People have been waiting for the deep drop rigs and we're going to drop one down. This is a chicken rig on a 100 pound test with five hooks. Five mean, sharp circle hooks. Okay. Step one to not tangling your chicken rig is to put the weight on it already. There's a loop at the bottom of the chicken rig, so you can just loop on any weight that your heart desires. In this case, we're running an eight pound weight, which is probably heavier than we need. I also have a four pound weight I'll probably switch to, but there it is. Yeah, we also have Dan and his son back here. Dan's got a free line out with a live pilchard on it. And then we got some vertical jigging going on in that corner. We'll see who catches the fish first. The Florida Fishing Couple squad or the South Florida Fishing Channel squad. By the way, Caitlin's holding the camera right now. So we got the, the Tanacom 1000 electric reel here. I have 80 pound power pro spooled up on there and then about 80 feet of 200 pound shock cord which all I'm gonna do is clip it on the top of the chicken leg rig loop. Chicken rig leg roop whoop doop. Our chicken rig now just needs some bait. So the Isla Mirada humps go up to 280 feet and drop down to about five, 600 feet. So we're just gonna just be dropping this sucker all over the humps and just till we get something. We're in 280 feet of water, pretty much on top of the hump. So I will put in the chicken rig. This is the 8-foot chicken rig. There's also an 11-foot chicken rig. They both have five hooks on them. And down she goes. I think we're going to catch a fish today. That's looking like a hit right there. This is brand new to me, man. We're teaching it. We got a fish coming up, boys. So, the electric reel overheated. I still got 50 yards to go. 170 feet or whatever that is. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a fish on here. First drop. <laughs> you right? I had a, I think a fly flew into my mouth. Keep cranking. Just keep cranking, cranking, cranking. <laughs> crank, crank, crank. I need a beer after this. How far are you away? 100 feet. All right, let's all make our bets. What do we catch? Blue tile, fish. Tile fish. fish. I'm thinking some kind of weird snapper. I guess, I guess I'm coming in. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Get back in the boat, Caitlin. We got a fish on. Oh, look at this. All right, let's see what we got. Is that a vermilion? Wham! <laughs> hey, vermilion snapper. Nice snapper. There you go. That, you got him. Good job. That was Whoa. a lot of work for this guy. That's oh. a good size one, actually. Yeah, that's a scrumptious, tasty, delicious fish. Let's go. Oh, he's gone. He got off? He got off. Wait no. no. No, he didn't. There we go. Oh, now no. he is. Now he is. I think he just cut me off. No. Okay. How many fish have we caught already, Caitlin? Too many. I forgot. I lost count. That's the right answer. Yeah, that would have been a catch. Dan, what you need, what you need is a, a stinger tip. Just a stinger tip, okay. You won't get cut off this time. All right, there you go. I'm gonna use this stinger tip because with these, you don't lose the fish. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what these look like. Wow. First of all, we have a quality swivel. It has an unbelievable, perfect knot. Three or four inches of beautiful wire. Oh yeah. It All goes right. to another beautiful knot. All right. And then a treble treble. All right, let's get that on out there. All right. On the stinger tip too, right, yep. Dan? Yeah, we got him on the stinger. Maybe you won't lose this one. A little treble hook? I don't know. You're going to have to chase him. 
You want me to chase them? Not yet, but uh, we're getting close. I can Let almost me know see if the, I have to. I can almost see the, the back. deep drop rig is in. I can almost see the back. He's a heavy, heavy fish, actually. Yeah, uh, we may we, we may need to go after him All a little right. bit. You ready to catch up with him? Real, real, real. Real as fast as you can. Or is it a, is there a cobia? No, 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 it's a shark. I'm going to him up or no? I guess. Arrgh. All right, can we get that hook out? Yes. Here's the shark meister, this guy knows sharks. I need a deep hooker for that guy. What do we have in the way of a D-hooker? Should I get it? Yeah, but I gotta pull the line this way. Okay. Can you let some line out on that? Like push them in. Then push. I gotta pull this way, you pull the other way. Like so? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be done. But you're supposed to get that over the hook. Over the whole hook. Yeah, like, like, like this? Like that. Oh, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Got it. Watch your f***ing hands, please. Matt, watch your hands, bro. Please. Are we sure we don't want some shark fin soup? Mm. Watch out for the line. Yep, you got it. Get rid of him. Oh, he took off. Ooh. Quick. Wow, look, the wire's barely even bent. <laughs> <laughs> and look, amazing. Beautiful. South Florida Fishing Channel rigs are awesome. This was supposed to be a deep drop episode. <laughs> now we're just using stinger rigs. <laughs> Listen. You gotta go to where the fish are, you gotta do what the fish want. Not, not what we want. And they wanted this. I'm gonna go back to deep dropping over All there. Right, cool. On that rod. Yeah. Sharks on a boat never works out. <laughs> Shark on a boat never <laughs> works out. Well, once again, we're on, and I'm hand cranking it all the way from the bottom and 300 feet on the Adam Rada humps. I'm really working for our food here. I don't know what's wrong with my Tanacom 1000, but. They should send me like five free ones after all this. See, I'm supposed to be drinking my beer right now. Where's my beer? But I, instead, I I'm. Yeah, I had to take it from you so you could work. <laughs> we have the worst lives. <laughs> 30 yards, 100 more feet. All right, boys, let's see what we got. Got, Looks like we got, oh, we got two, two fish. Trailer. We got oh, two fish, boys. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's a big almacone. Very nice. You can eat those. Woohoo! Hey! Ah, we got dinner on a stringer. That vermilion snapper is bigger than the last one. Snapper's awesome. That's what I was telling you about that too, though. That's a good one. Hey, oh. That's what everybody says. Right? Oh, man. Uh, Beautiful, uh, white, soft, uh, delicious, uh, buttery, uh, flaky. Uh, Buttery, so flaky. Good. Oh yeah. Good All right, both these fish are going in the box. We got something on. Something real nice. You were supposed to reel this one, Caitlin. Really? Oh my God, what is that? What's chasing it? Oh, Buddha. Oh, 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 you're oh, on another Buddha. You're on. Okay. What? Oh, 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 what the heck? So I think that Barracuda got off and his buddy grabbed yours. <laughs> Barracuda is really good deep dropping bait, so let's land this guy. All right, good idea. What? Oh my gosh. Flop him in that bucket. We could just shoot me up, some of them up right now. If you cut this off right here, you're good. I got a, I got soy sauce. So we got it to Something on this? Yeah, there's something on this. Don't let the barracuda get it this time. Hopefully the barracuda doesn't come up this time. Full speed, babe. This is the time to go fast. Of course. No. Keep on reeling. Yep. And 
Oh, it's a barracuda. It's all right. I'm gonna save him for bait. I'm gonna take him home and use him for bait next time. Hey, Heiko. Show me your case. Yeah, directly, yes. Butterfly bellyhoo on his stinger rig. Yep. Let's see, that line's going out that way. Okay. Then I will go out this way. I think you got this one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this one. Oh, All right. The, this is our chance. Sir. It, got, it got off. Matthew got a. Uh, yeah. He, he got the tuna. Actually, speaking of Matthew and the tuna. Ooh! Look what I've been chilling down in the ice. I put this in a little saltwater slushy. You see this slushy down here? Saltwater, 20 pounds of ice, and you got yourself a ice cube frozen hard blackfin tuna. Now, on days when fishing is slow, what you do is you open a beer and you eat some some fish. Well, I'm gonna, just going to cut this part off. That right there, I'm going to save for bait. It's weird flaying half of the fish. Okay, the head goes overboard, the blam. Something's gonna eat that and have a real good time. This I'm gonna put back in the saltwater slush. I wanna get that meat real nice and firm. So we put our meat in this ice slushy for about five or 10 minutes, real cold. Bloodline out. Ooh, -hoo, that's a juicy looking piece of tuna. You guys, we're gonna be eating good after all. How can I do that? Wow, that's cold. Um, yeah, after you after you cut it up, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, you put it out. Chopsticks, a little uh, wasabi. I wish I had wasabi. I always have wasabi too, and then a little tube. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yes, let the soy sauce run over the boat. <laughs> I heard that's good luck. All right, I'll, I'll do a little sampler before you guys do, just so I can let you know how it is. We're offshore. Break. So. Melt in your mouth like butter. I think it's a little chewier than if you were to like keep it for, like on ice for a few hours. But it's good. Very good. Then we shared it with the barracuda. So. All right, the camera lady is gonna finally have a, All right. a bite of it. Those oh, are some pretty one. nice shoes you got there. They like that? Oh, wait, let me see yours. Twinsies. Let me see yours. Yeah, and you're just jealous that you don't have some of these. Someday I'll we'll get them up here for Christmas. Someday I'll get I'll have a pair of those. You'll see. Right now I'm wearing my summer shoes, but for winter I'll have the extra. Yeah, we're halfway through winter place. already. Amazing. This is melt. Melts? Yeah, like you know, you know that terminology, like when it's really melts in your mouth. 
You know, there's soy sauce running down my boat. I just cleaned my boat today. All right. <laughs> we got our fish here. I got a pan with some hot oil in it. Put some butter in there, in the oil. The reason there's already hot oil in the pan is because we just made some nice hot asparagus here. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful. Thank you. So we have our Almaco Jack here, and then we have our Vermilion Snapper here. So we'll start by cooking the Vermilion Snapper. And I left this towel on it to keep the fish kind of dry. I think fish tastes better when you keep it dry. We're just gonna salt it and pepper it. Keep it real simple. We'll do that to both sides. Drop it in the butter. That looks like it's pretty hot, I would say. Just drop the fish on in there. Oh, it's not that hot. Pan could have been a little hotter, but this is fine. If you see my iguana video, there's nothing wrong with slow cooking. You hear that cat meowing? He wants a piece. <laughs> We're gonna cut off a tiny piece of this jack. Oh man, that's really tough Whoops. So this guy right here, there's a whole story behind how we got him. But he loves fish, he loves it when I cook. And I'm gonna give him a piece right now. Look how excited he gets for this. <laughs> All right, okay. Hey, he eats fresh snapper, fresh wahoo, fresh almaco jack. He's living good. So this fish is already white on the bottom. So technically we can flip it already. I'm really interested to see how the snapper is going to compare to the Elmico Jack. We're taking the fish out. This fish is definitely good. Nice and flaky, soft. Cooked all the way through. The fork goes straight through it, so you know it's fine. I already salted and peppered the Jack, so I'll drop that in there now. Let's do a little taste test here. That's hot right, right out yeah. of the pan, but you know I like to eat Way too hot of food. Maybe blow on it. I'll blow on it a little bit. <laughs> trying to think what to compare that to. You hear the cat down there? <laughs> it's like it's like a little more firm than mangrove snapper. For Millionaire Snapper, if you've been a subscriber to this channel for a long time, you probably remember my video where I caught a big Vermilion Snapper and I threw it back thinking it was a red snapper. To this day, I have people making fun of me for that episode. So this is my redemption. Finally, after years, I can say I kept one. The Jack looks like it's done. Mmm. Oh yes, 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 yes. So Caitlin and I both agreed that the vermilion snapper just tastes kind of like a firmer mangrove snapper. Nice, delicious white meat. Now we're gonna try the Elmico Jack. I mean, it looks the same. It's like a white, firm, firmer meat. Here we go. 
Jack from 280 feet below the surface. I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference between the, the snapper and the jack. They kind of taste like a good white meat covered in salt and pepper and some butter. <laughs> they have the same firm texture. Firm yet flaky. All right, we're gonna have Caitlin try some and then we'll see what she says. You gonna feed it to me? All right, just here, just put this in your mouth. Mm. That's really good. What do you like more? The mm. jack or the snapper? I think I like the jack better. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, they're both so good. It does. I mean, it really would not matter. There you have it. Jack, big winner. Keeping all those. We're going to keep these fish next time we catch them. So we're not going to throw these back. <laughs> it's not what we're going to do. I'm ready for dinner? I'm ready for dinner. Let's do it. Shut that off. Me and you are going to have a little private dinner. Thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. The holidays are almost here, so get yourself some shirts. They make great gifts and they support my channel, which lets me put gas in the boat and make more videos. And pick yourself up some fishing rigs at SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Cheers, everybody.